All right, so let's begin with the first part of this question. It is given that X is equals to this equation. It's completed in the format of Y and involving natural logarithmic term. Now we have to express Y in terms of X. So in simple words, this question is asking us to make Y the subject of formula, which basically says that on the left side, there should be only one Y. And on the right side, there shouldn't be any kind of Y and only terms with respect to X. It can have any kind of functions uh, on the right hand side. But the variables should only be in terms of X. It cannot have Y. So that's the kind of thing that we have to get from this term. I mean, from this equation. Now, straight away, if I'm looking at this equation, I can see that there are two log terms which are subtracted. And the formula to combine them together that we have learned is that ln of A minus ln of B becomes ln of A divided by B. And the reason that I'm trying to combine them together is so that I can get rid of ln very quickly and then I can make y the subject of formula. So the first step over here would be x is equals to, I'll make one ln function and a huge bracket. On the top, I'm having 2y minus 3 and on the bottom, I'm having y plus 4. So that's one term. Now, how to get rid of this logarithmic terms that we are having? We can always have a power, like we can raise this kind of things to the power of base of this logarithm. So we know that ln is nothing but, like we can say that ln of x is same as writing log to the base of ex. So now if we want to get rid of this ln, we need to raise these terms to the power of e. Therefore, this becomes e to the power of x is equal to e to the power of ln and the same thing that we are having over here, I'll just now break it into this way. We are having 2y minus 3 divided by y plus 4. So now what happens by doing this? This e to the power of ln of something becomes something. Again, that's the rule. You can, like you, know, you will have to be good with the rules to solve these kind of questions. So the rule that we are using is that e to the power of ln, or I should say base of log to the base when these things are same and in bracket let's say you are having x then this is actually equal to x so when e is to the power of log to the base of e this is simply nothing but the input that we are having over here so therefore we can say that now this is same as writing e power of x is equals to 2y minus 3 divided by y plus 4 now it all boils down to normal simple algebra that how you can make y terms together and how you can make them the subject of formula. So now if we continue this, we can bring y on, I mean y plus 4 on the left side. So e power of x goes with y plus e power of x also goes with 4. So it becomes 4 e power of x. And on the right side, it is 2y minus 3. Now I can bring this y terms together and x terms together. So let's say that I'm bringing uh, this y terms on the right and x terms on the left or the constants, everything apart from y on other side. So 4 e power of x plus 3 is equals to 2y minus ax power of y. Now I can see that in both the terms y are common. I mean y is common. So I'll take y out as a common factor. Over here we are having 2 and over here when it goes to the right, it becomes minus e power of xy. So minus e power of x, y is out there in common. Now I simply need to divide both the sides with 2 minus e power of x to simply get the y as the subject of formula. So therefore, my y is equal to 4 e power of x plus 3. I can just have this in the bracket divided by 2 minus e power of x. And that will be our final answer to the first question of this paper.